on this week's Miller Zone. Kyle Miller tells you which NCAA men's basketball team are on the bottom bubble heading into March Madness. Hey everyone, it's been a while. I'm Kyle Miller, by the way, host of the Miller Zone, even though my producers caught me last week. Seriously, guys, your clock management skills makes Les Miles look like a genius. Cut me again, and I'll throw Michelle's cough drops at you like Eagles fans pelt people with snowballs. It was a bigger tragedy than the Packers winning the Super Bowl. Guys, consider yourself warned. Anyway, on to my weekly rant. So Bracket Busters was last weekend, a time of year when small schools fight for NCAA tournament bursts, which will probably go to some undeserving big school that has as much chance of winning a national championship as Briar Cliff. For instance, St. Mary's is a good ranked school, and they fought hard against a Utah State team. The St. Mary's Gales beat Villanova last year en route to the Sweet 16, but one loss, and they're most likely missing this year's tournament. On the flip side, a putrid Michigan State team beat a putrid Illinois team, and they are considered a potential at-large berth. Excuse me? The Spartans are barely over 500, and people want them in the NCAA tournament? I don't get it. One of the biggest gripes I have about the college basketball postseason is that the big schools take precedence over smaller ones. Now, while the Big East Conference is a good conference, I really don't want to see 11 teams from the Big East in the NCAA tournament. Conversely, I also don't want to see teams make a tournament where they are let in by name alone. Syracuse, Michigan State, yes, I'm talking to you. The NCAA tournament should be the best 68 teams in college basketball, regardless of name or conference. Hope you're geared up for bracket fever. By the way, Thursday and Saturday are the last two Coyote home basketball games of the year. Show your yoke pride and get to the Dome to watch USD lay the smackdown on NJIT in Chicago State. If you smell what the Miller is cooking. For the Miller Zone, I'm Kyle Miller.